Hello, friends, and welcome to episode 230 of Looking at Stamps. And this will conclude our week of four cent stamps. And we're going to finish with the Champion of Liberty series, which is a series of 10 stamps. We're going to look at nine of them, but 10 stamps um, issued uh, starting in 1957. Uh, the first stamp was an eight cent stamp uh, honoring Ramon Magsaysay, say, who was the president of the Philippines. Uh, during the Cold War, uh, Eisenhower wanted to combat Soviet totalitarianism by honoring men who fought for freedom in their own countries. Uh, each of these men struggled courageously to protect their homeland from tyranny and further the cause of freedom. Each of the remaining nine stamps were issued both in four cent and eight cent denominations, the four cent denomination for domestic postage and the eight cent denomination for international postage. So you'll see these same figures in both uh, denominations. Uh, the first in the 1110, this is Simon Bolivar, who was uh, called the George Washington of the South for his work in South America and is considered one of the great liberators of South America. The second in the series is 1117, and this is Lajos Kosuth, who fought for Hungarian independence. We then have the other liberator of South America. This is Jose de San Martin, um, one of the key figures in the Spanish-American War of Independence in the early 1800s. Next, we make, move to Europe. This is three six. Uh, this is Ernst Reuter, who was the mayor of West Berlin um, and coordinated the great Berlin airlift with the United States to combat the Soviet blockade. We then have 1147. This is Tomas Masaryk, who became the founder and first president of the Czechoslovakian Republic. We have one of my favorites. This is 1159. This is Ignacy Paderewski, who was a great composer uh, and musician and traveled and performed throughout the world and in so doing helped champion Poland's independence and became the third prime minister of Poland. Then we have 1165, uh, which is one of my favorites as well because I just like saying the name. It's Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim, who became the ma commander of Finland's armed forces during the conflicts with Russia and eventually served as marshal and president of Finland. Our penultimate stamp is the Giuseppe Garibaldi stamp. Um, after a varied career in South America, he later fought in the wars for Italian independence and later served in the Italian parliament. And probably the most known stamp in the series is the Mahatma Gandhi stamp 1174, uh, the political and spiritual leader of India's independence movement. Uh, he inspired civil rights movements throughout the world by using nonviolence nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience. And that is all the time we have for today. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk with you next Monday. Bye-bye.